just me Oh, the blood of Jesus shed for me What a sacrifice that saved my life Yes, the blood, it is my victory Welcome once again to O oh Give Thanks, your midweek worship service, which is designed to recharge your spiritual batteries and to refill your spiritual tanks. It is a delight and an honor to be with you once again another Wednesday night as we celebrate the goodness of God in our lives. Now, we understand that COVID is not entirely out as yet. Uh, some folks in some country, it's downplayed, but in other areas, it's rife. And so all across the world, uh, our OGT family members are joining us now. And if you are joining us for the first time, perhaps somebody informed you, somebody told you about Oh Give Thanks, we're asking you to just take a few seconds and subscribe. There's a red button to the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Hit that button, select 
the notification bell, select all, and you will be notified when we go live. We are delighted and happy to be with you. Now, I, I, I am excited because I, I, I traveled just recently and I met scores of OGT members in the United States. I, I, I'm just so bubbling and, and I wish to, to, to highlight, to give a shout out to a couple of these uh, individuals. Uh, from the Lebanon Seventh-day Adventist Church, I want to uh, give a shout out to Sister Jennifer, Sister Taylor, uh, my good friend, Pastor Morris Garnet Morris of the Lebanon Church. And of course, there are some new believers that I work closely with in New York, in the Jamaica Avenue area. We had a great time. We have Sister Suzanne, a uh, new believer. Praise God for you for accepting the Lord. I, I want to celebrate Pastor uh, Daniel Smith from the Jamaica Church, uh, one of our OGT family members. There are others. Uh, Pastor Francis, who once was on this uh, worship service from the uh, Olis Seventh-day Adventist Church, and his wife, Sister Francis. Uh, we had a great time together. Roselyn giving a shout out to Roselyn, Sister Claudia. We're talking about individuals who gave their lives to the Lord recently as I shared with them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Chevelle and Alaric, may the Lord continue to be with you. Carla, and uh, there are many others. We thank God for all of you, and uh, we look forward to a very interesting, intriguing, and powerful worship service tonight as we lift up the name of Jesus. Remember now, remember now, this is not about us. It's about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. At this time, as is customary, we will begin with prayer. Following the prayer, we will have our scripture reading, which will be done by Sister Ethlyn Francis. And we will talk a little bit more about Sister Francis. Tonight promises, it's a special edition of O oh Give Thanks. So will you join me now as we have our opening prayer? Let us pray. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your goodness and your grace in our lives. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for hope. We thank you for your hand in our lives. Notwithstanding the challenges that are greeting us all over the world, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. So at this time, O oh God, as we begin this worship service, we pray that your Holy Spirit will overtake the worship service. And may each heart that is represented on the other side of the camera, may hearts that have not yet surrendered to you, will, be, will find it a joy to surrender to you even tonight. May those of us who have been traveling this pathway be inspired to press on as a consequence of this worship service. Thank you, Lord. Guide the worship service tonight, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we'll have our scripture reading, which will be done by Sister Etlin Francis. The scripture reading this evening is taken from Mark chapter 1, verse 40 to 42. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, if thou will, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was clean. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you so much, Sister Etlin, for that very powerful scripture reading. Now, let me just share with you again, as, as, as is customary, our scripture reading are particularly chosen because of that which we wish to communicate. You see, we serve a God who is willing to fix our situation. Here it is, this, this gentleman who is overtaken with leprosy, a disease. He came to Jesus, and one of the beautiful lessons I learned from that scripture reading is that the man did not question Jesus' ability. He celebrated Jesus' ability. He says, if you are willing, you can make me clean. You are able to make me clean. When we, when we make 
God understand that we know of his ability, when we celebrate his power and authority in our requests, God is anxious to come through for us. And so tonight on Oh Give Thanks, that's what the program is about. That's the philosophy behind our worship service. We are celebrating a God who is able to do more than we can ever ask or imagine. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you're just joining us, you're watching Oh Give Thanks, and I'm your host, Pastor Michael Lewis. In studio tonight, on this special edition of Oh Give Thanks, we have a very interesting lady. Let me just tell you a little bit about her. She is actually one of our OGT family members, all the way from St. Vincent. Uh, she is here in Jamaica, and can I tell you this? She was not even aware that she would have had the opportunity of being on Oh Give Thanks tonight. This is a dream come through, true for her, something she never imagined, never perceived, but God would have it in his will that she would be on this worship service to celebrate the goodness of God. And of course, having watched the, uh, the, the worship service over the many, many, many years, as she has told me before, she has been an ardent member. In fact, she told me that she is actually a member of the virtual church. So I'm sure her membership is right here. I'm talking about the very lady who did our scripture reading, Sister Ethlyn Francis. Welcome. Welcome, Sister Francis, on Oh Give Thanks. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much, Pastor. And I must say it's a pleasure being here. Yes. I, I, you know, when you told me that you, 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 you have always been seeing me, that's the story I've been getting from everybody. Everybody has been seeing me, but I have not been able to see them because, you know, they're on the other side of the camera. But it's an honor to have you on Oh Give Thanks. And to have, by the way, as I said to you earlier, you are the second uh, outside of Pastor Francis and his wife, you're the second O Give Thanks and it's member. And it's something that I've always been saying to myself. It would be nice to have the OGT members all over the world, whether it's virtual or otherwise, to try and be on the program. Just to, because God must have been doing things in the lives of the people who are watching. And so I'm excited to have you here. I'm really, really excited, Sister Francis, to have you. T tell us a little bit about yourself, Sister Francis. Uh, we, we, we know, we, well, most of the folks who are watching, except for the St. Vincent, Vin Vincent, Vincentians, right? Vincentian, thank you, Vincentians. Uh, except for them, uh, you know, the, the, the wider uh, membership of O Give Thanks would not be quite privy to St. Vincent. Uh, tell us a little bit about that island. I hear it's a beautiful place. Talk to us a, a little bit about If you were given just five, 50 seconds or, no, not 50, but about 10 seconds to celebrate St. Vincent, to market St. Vincent, tell us a little bit about it. Okay, my, as you heard already, my name is Hetlin Francis. Yes. I am a member of the Paradise Seventh-day Adventist Church in Vermont, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. St. Vincent is a Caribbean island. Yes. Breadfruit and jackfish is our national dish. Wow, jackfish. <laughs> yes, and uh, most of the thing, you, we, our landscape is basically like what you see in Jamaica. In Jamaica, the hills, yes. The valley, yes. the greenery. Yes. You know, and we have beautiful um, Grenadines Island with black sand beaches and white sand beaches. Black so sand beaches? Yes. Wow, if I knew you were coming, I'd ask you to bring some black sand for me. So <laughs> next time I would have it. All right, all right, all right. Good. Th so paradise, paradise. That that's an interesting name. I, I guess it's it's it, it's named. The church is named after the area. When you come to my church, you experience paradise. Oh wow! We are located in the Vermont Valley, where it's always green and lush. Yes. We have the Vermont Nature Trail. That's a trail where you where you would find our national bird, the Amazona giligindi, better known as the parrot. Okay. Okay. And we have rivers what, with what do you call sparkled it? water. You've got to slow down a little bit. The, the, the Amazon what? Amazona Giligindi. That's the name of our Gili national Gili Gindi. Movie. Now, yes. we're learning here. We're learning here in OGT. Uh, uh, Amazoni 
Gili Gindi. Gili Gindi. All right. That's interesting. We're speaking in tongues here. I don't give thanks. All right. Good. So, so the breadfruit and uh, jackfish Jack is the national dish. Okay. All right. At least some fish is in it because we have saltfish. It always here. Aki and saltfish is an, uh, is our national dish. All right. So paradise is the church, Seventh Adventist Church. Uh, and, and and is there any particular person you'd like to just uh, say hi to? You can look in the camera. So and, and I'm shouting out all the Paradisians yes. and all the members of the Central Lewa District of Seventh Day Adventists. Happy Wednesday night to you. All right. So that's the name of the the, the conference. Uh, Central Our Leeward. conference is the uh, SVG Mission of Seventh Day Adventists. Oh, it's a mission. But mm -hmm. we have different districts. So my district is the Central Leeward District of oh. Seventh Day Adventists. All right. So, Sister Francis, tell us a little bit as to why are you here in Jamaica? Uh, and, and I'm really happy. Let me welcome you to Jamaica and let's welcome you to, to, to EJC Virtual Church. But tell us a little bit about, without going to, into too much of your private, you know, but tell us a little bit. Are you here on vacation? Uh, uh, and how has your stay been so far? Okay, my stay so far is an indeed a wonderful one. Yes. I must say. Yeah. But I could have never imagined that I would have been here in Jamaica. Oh. This trip is a surprise to me and yeah. I guess to everyone else who is who know me and who is looking at me wondering why is she in Jamaica? What is she doing in Jamaica? How yeah. she get to Jamaica? Yes. Yes. Um from 2020, I, after we had um, the pandemic, yes. COVID, and we were literally locked down, you know, I got in, I saw EJC online and I just fell in love with the programs, yes. you know, and I make it my virtual church, yes. EJC. And I always think in one of these days, I would really love to go to Jamaica. To oh. meet these budgering, you know, okay. because Danny, Addis, Theodore, Michael, yes. and all the others. Yes. You know, yes. I really enjoy the worship that and the and the production that EJC would have been giving out. I yes. really yes. enjoy. And I'm always look forward for a day when I would really come to meet all these wonderful people. Oh wow. Has that been a prayer? Did you tell God you want that? I yes, I did. Tell God that, but not no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in other words, you didn't anticipate it happening I now. did not anticipate that it would have been this soon. Oh, okay, okay. On the heels of the pandemic. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So, 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 like you said, you're you're in, in Jamaica. You're visiting. Yes. I am on business. Oh, you're on business. All if right. If I should so, put family business. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. on family business. All so, right. mm -hmm. this decision to come to Jamaica was made last Thursday. Hold a minute. Last Thursday, and by Saturday, I was in Jamaica. The decision was made last Thursday, yes. and by sat Saturday, you're, you, 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 were, you were in Jamaica. Yes. Okay, and you said your stay has been good so far. So, so you know, you know what we do here in All Give Thanks. We, we're giving thanks. We're celebrating God because of who he is. And um, it's nice to know that I have on set with me an e OGT member who has been watching the, 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 the stories and the lives of other people, but herself has a story or has stories. So, so we wanted to dive into it. We can't wait to hear the St. Vincent um, experience. So talk to us about God, because God is not particular about race or, or nationality or which island you're from. He's the same God, isn't he? Yes, it is. So let's hear about this God who loves St. Vincent people too. Of course, sure. <laughs> and I would begin with saying, repeating Psalms 34. Okay. Where it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Mm -hmm. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Yes. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Listen, this verse, verse 4. Yes. I sought the Lord, mm -hmm. and he heard me, yes. and delivered me 
from all my fears. Amen. I had fears coming to Jamaica. Oh, yeah? Yes, a lot of fear. I was very fearful mm. because you would have heard of so much crime and violence. Yes, it's not yes. that it doesn't happen in my country. Yes. But the but because you have been the way hailed, the media, the way the media, it, yes, yes, the media yes. project Jamaica. Yes. I it I was very, very fearful yes. to come to Jamaica. Yes. But then I did apply for a tuition for my daughter. Yes. And she had applied to different university. UE Trinidad, UE Mona Jamaica, and other universities. Mm -hmm. Mona did answer her yes. and tell her, it's okay, we give, send an acceptance letter to her to tell her that she's accepted okay. to be a student at Mona. Amen. But we didn't have the means, the readily means for her to come to Mona. W would so, Trinidad be nearer? And Trinidad would have been nearer. Mm -hmm. Trinidad, we have family support because I have a sister who lives there. Okay. I have oh. aunts there, cousins there. Okay. So I really would have preferred mm -hmm. prefer her to go to Mona. To, sorry, to, to, to go to St. Augustine in right. Trinidad. Right, right. But Mona gave, send that acceptance letter yes. to her. Yes, yes. I say, God, my only daughter. <laughs> One child. No, I have oh, two oh, children, but, but daughter. one okay. daughter yeah, yeah, yeah. and one son. Okay, yes. In Jamaica, have no family support. The only thing I know about Jamaica with family is the EJC family. That I have, <laughs> that I only amen. met virtually. Amen. Yes, amen. Not in person, amen. virtually. Yes. And so I applied, the government had some tuition given out, so I applied. That's the government in your country? The government in St. Vincent. Yes. So I applied. I just applied, not expecting anything. I just applied. Mm. Then on Wednesday gone, she said she was vacationing in Canada. Yes. So she forwarded me an email and said, Mommy, the government said that I got one of the tuition. Amen. I say, God. Amen. You are good. <laughs> You Amen. Because you just said you did the means to to, 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 right. to to be here and 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 and, and it was just a sudden plan. A trip. Exactly. Yes. It wasn't a plan chip. So I said, God, what is this happening? Did you expect to get the money? No, I didn't. You just applied. I just applied and leave it there. Mm. You know, and go about life as usual. Yes. Didn't follow up, didn't check. Just, but she received the email and then she forwarded it and she wasn't in the country. Right. So the morning I get up, I said, I'm going to the government to see if I can defer this because school would begin the Monday. She's getting mm. the acceptance the Wednesday. Wow, the Wednesday she, before the Monday? The Wednesday before the Monday. She is in Canada. Yes. How is she going to get a flight <laughs> to come in? And to go back out to Jamaica, that get her, would be to get her things to get to get her everything have. and to yes. get back to Jamaica for yes. Monday. That yes. was impossible. Mm. That was impossible. So then I said, God, if it is your will that she goes to Jamaica, you're going to let us get through with this. Yes. If it is not your will, please just create a stumbling block so that things just didn't work out yes. and she would just have to give up the tuition. Thursday morning, I got up and I start early on the journey, going to the government, and they say, yes, it's okay, you can get the information on her behalf, you yes. know, and so they gave me the, the letter and they told me where to go. And everywhere I go, it, this thing seemed, I seem to be getting through. Yes. I say, what, God, what are you saying? When I reached at the final point when I got everything sorted, I said, how am I going to get this child to come in to go to Jamaica? Yes. I said, God, you have to walk this out. So I said to my, my sister in Canada, you have to change her flight, but you would have to get her to go straight to Jamaica. I am going to try to get a flight 
to go to Jamaica. But yes. let me try first. Yes. If I don't get a flight, which means that she can't go to Jamaica. When I went to the airline, the lady said, Miss Francis, there is no straight flight to go to Jamaica. Mm. Not even to go through Trinidad, Barbados, because that's where we normally go. Right. So it would have been just like a flight from St. Vincent to either Barbados, Trinidad, and then to Jamaica. There was no flights because students are going back, persons are going back from vacation to go back to school, so there is yes, no flight. Yes, yes. So, yeah, so I say, okay, God. Overcrowding going on. I say, okay, God, that's fine. Then she said, but wait, do you have a U.S. visa? Yes. And I said, yes. Then she said, you don't have a problem. You would get a flight. You just have to go through Miami. Yes. I said, God, what is this? So God is still on the job. God is still when on the job. When you perhaps thought that God was, it, it would have turned out to be a disappointment. Yes. God was still on the job because pushing the thing. I was still fearful in coming to Jamaica. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I, ju I, I was glad that I couldn't get a flight. Yes. Yes. But there she is, and she said, no, man, you would get a flight. Mm. But it's going to take you a little longer to get to Jamaica, but you're going to get a flight. Pastor, I took five flights to ho get here. Ho ho hold a minute. One, two, three, three four, four, five. Five. One from St. Vincent to one of my Grenadines Island, Mustique. Yes. From Mustique to St. Lucia. Uh-huh. That is another Caribbean island. Yes. Then from St. Lucia to Miami. Yes, that's what Overnight places. in Miami. Yes. And then from Miami to Jamaica. to Jamaica. Wow. Wow. Five stops. Five stops. But I say, God, you are going to work this thing out. If it is your will, you work this out. It doesn't matter the crucible. It doesn't matter the crucible. God. I know that God is in it. Yes. And the fact that he made a way for me to leave St. Vincent, I realized that his hand is in it. Amen, amen, amen. I like the way you put that expression. She realizes that his hand is in it. And that's critical. That's critical. Yes, yes. So I got here. So it's during my flight because it was a rush. Thursday, getting everything sorted, and I have to leave Friday morning. So it was during one of my stops, I decided I'm going to book an Airbnb. Yes. So I was there, and I booked an Airbnb online. But I, I spoke with an assistant, and I said, could I pay when I get there? Because yes. I wanted to make sure to see the place where I'm staying before I pay. They said, sure. So I didn't have to pay online. Mm -hmm. So pastor, my sister-in-law would have came to Jamaica last year for vacation. So she met a taxi guy. Yes. So she would have forwarded me that, that, number, for that number for that right, taxi guy right, because right. she trusted him and he was good. Yes. But when I called him, he was in Montego Bay and I was coming to Kingston. Yes. So he said to me, don't worry, I'm going to give you somebody else. And he would be at the airport to pick you up. Yes. You are safe. I said, God, listen, if you would have brought me here to Jamaica, yes. I know you would not bring me here to leave me. And I know you would be, you would be guiding me. Mm. Be my guide, God. Yes. That's all I said. God, yes. be my guide. Because you don't be know my any protection. of these people. I don't know anybody, Pastor. Nobody. So you have to put complete trust in so God. So all I had to do at this point is say, God, you take over. Yes. When everything else fail, but God. Mm. He never fail. So I trusted God. So I said, God, you're going to put me in the hand of this taxi guy and you're going to take care of me. Yes. Pastor, when I met the guy, he was very pleasant. Yes. When I got out, he had my name on a cardboard and mm -hmm. went to him. This and, place so and, and, right, thing, right, and right. he was very pleasant. The Airbnb that I booked online, I gave him the address. He took me there. Yes. Pastor, when he took me there, the place was locked down. Wow. There was no one there. 
So at it's a good, reception. So it's a good thing you didn't pay any money online. It's a good thing I didn't pay the money online. Because you would be able to get it back. You don't know who to. I don't know who to go to. Um, what a God. That's a God. <laughs> Anything but God is yes. God. Yes. You yes. Yes. No one was there, Pastor. I said, what am I going to so do? So you don't you don't have any other Airbnb options there now because the, the, the one option you had that fell through. The taxi guy said to me, Don't worry. But when he's saying don't worry, I am saying, God, you didn't bring me here to leave me. That's right. That's right. So that's God, right. I am he's talking to me, but I am talking to God. Yes. I'm saying, God, you are going to make a way, even though now it seems no way. Yes. You are going to make a way. And he got on his phone because I can't make phone calls. Right, right, right. And he got on his phone. He said, I'm gonna call some places for you. Don't worry. I'm going to call some places for you. And he started calling around and so forth. And he said, I, this place that I'm going to take you, it's a safe place. Trust mm. me. I am telling you, it is a safe place. So I'm talking to God. I say, God, he's saying it's safe. Yes. But I know you, God, and I'm trusting you. That's Even right. though it is not safe, you is going to make it safe for me. Amen. I'm going to have to ask you to hold it there because... Yes. Because, because my producer is saying, no man, let's get the juicy stuff out. Let's get some more. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're saying that you, 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 he says he's taking it to a safe place, but you don't know him, but you know God. I know God. Amen. And Amen. all my trust will have to be in God. And I like what you said. You said that even if the place is not safe, God, if you are there, it is safe. It is safe. I like that. I like that. It is I, want, I hope you're taking note, you know. You know, God is the one who can change the circumstance anywhere you go. So if even if the place is volatile, once God is there, you can experience peace. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Go right ahead. <laughs> I like it. So when I when I got to the, the place, yes. I met the owners and so forth. That's the new place now. That's a new place. Yes. That's a new place. And the guy said to me, he sounded English. Mm -hmm. And he said, where are you from? That accent mm. sounds familiar. British, yes. Mm -hmm. And I said, St. Vincent. He said, I have some friends from St. Vincent because we were in England together. Mm -hmm. I said, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes. And then he told me the name of the person. I said, he's from my village. Amen. I said, he <laughs> is from my village. Yes. So I got a little bit comfortable. All yes, the butterfly yes, gone. Yes. The fact that he knows somebody who I know, you know, the butterflies went. But, but the beautiful thing, you know, from what I'm listening is that God knew him before he even got there. Got there. And yes. God would have arranged that. So God, God ensured that where he didn't want it to go, that you'd meet up on a disappointment there. And you would find yourself where he wanted you to Where lodge. he want me to be. Amen. Amen. But Amen. Pastor, the price mm. was above what I had budgeted for. Yes. So I say, God, while I was there, he was negotiating and telling me, oh, if I stay for this days, he would carry the price down. And, mm -hmm. you know, but the price still... Is above even, even, what, with the discount, even with the discount, yes, it was still what off. I budgeted for. Yes, yes. So I said, God, you know what? I'm going to book this place for three nights. Mm. Three nights. Remember? But, but, but let me tell you what I'm picking up. And, 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 and my friend, my, my OGT members are watching. I, and I don't want you to miss this. You talk to God for just about anything. Yes. Because, Pastor, I find myself because. I don't have any family support here. I don't know anyone in Jamaica but God. Amen. Amen. But God. God is everywhere. So you know he's so here. I so know God is here. Yes. And that is my only source of dependence. Amen. Amen. My only source of dependence. So I said, God, three days. Oh, you told him three days you're going to spend at the place. I'm going to spend three days at this place and yes. you are going to find me somewhere i don't know where oh. but god you are going to find me somewhere mm. that is what i can afford yes 
That's what I said to God. Yes. So, my daughter was coming in. So, that was this Saturday. Yes. My daughter was coming in on the Sunday because I tried to get here before she gets here. Right. So, you can so meet her at the so airport. So, I can right. meet her at the airport right, right, and right. so forth. Mm -hmm. So, she knew Abigail from EJC. Oh. And they were in touch. Yes. So, I said to her, send me Abigail's number. Because I need to pick you up at the airport mm. when you come in. So she sent me Abigail's number. I said, Abigail, you are my only seven-day Adventist contact here. Mm. I explained to her I am Crystal's mom, and I'm here in Jamaica, and I need to pick her up from the airport. Do we have any seven-day Adventist brothering yeah. that has a taxi service or mm -hmm. you know abigail said no worry my sister <laughs> i would i would organize amen. i would amen. organize amen that's abby you see God? that's abby from from ejc virtual church yes that's yes. abigail yes. from ejc yes. virtual yes. church the family that you say you have here in jamaica yes EJC man virtual my virtual <laughs> family yes. yes so that was the beginning yes. of me meeting my virtual family amen amen so and i called her she said to me, I got somebody to pick her up. And he is... Give it a name and so on. Um, Brother French. I would call his name. Yes, yes. Because I would tell you other things after. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And they said to me, we would go and pick up Crystal and you just give me the address. So you don't have to worry about you going to get her. Mm -hmm. Abby and I are going to get her for you. I say bless. I say, I ain't worried. I am not worried. As because as I would have seen Brother French and EJC. On EJC. So you start seeing your family, your virtual family, live and, and in living colors. So I, I would have seen him. Yes. And I would have seen Abigail. Abigail. Right, right. So, right. and my daughter would have been in touch with Abigail. Right. So I'm not worried. So I just relax until when they got there amen let me take a break right here let me tell you something friends and family online we're talking with if you're just joining us we're talking with sister francis from the paradise seventh -day adventist church in saint vincent and let me tell you something the story this god this god is so amazing you can just plan out your life and just say lord uh, this is what even even if it is not his direction but you can just put it in his hand and he knows how to tweak it he knows how to modify it he knows how to fix it so that it fits in to his will this is the god we're talking about and by the way there is nothing about your life that is too is too simple that god is not interested in god is interested in every aspect of your life and if you have been listening before you would have listened to how sister francis is describing details of her life which to some people is god really would be involved in himself in that oh yes god is very much interested in every aspect of your life but we're, what we're going to do now we're going to take a break listen to a special song and then when we return sister francis will continue to share her powerful testimony about how god help her to navigate through a country she knew nobody physically has no relative and has plans for her daughter to study here right here in jamaica the god that we serve is the god of the world the bible says this is our father's world we take the special song now and then we'll return we will listen to the rest with phase two or part two of the story that sister francis is sharing with us take a listen Life is easy when you're up on the mountain. You've got peace of mind like you've never known. But then things change and you're down in the valley. But don't lose faith, for 
you're never alone. So where the God of the mountain, He is the God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. And the God of the good times, He God in the night, you talk of faith when you're up on the mountain. Talk comes so easy when life's at its best, but down in the valley. Of your trials and temptations, that's when your faith is really put to the test. But the God on the mountain, He is the God in the valley when things go. The God of the good times, He is the God in the bad times. My God of the day is still God in the night. For the God of the day, He's still God in the night. Thank you so much for that special song that, that helps to, to, to prepare the way for segment two. So, Sister Francis, you were telling us that you, you Brother French, uh, one of our EJC virtual church, uh, uh, I could say production person, uh, team member, uh, you, you, you met him, he, he was the one who picked up your daughter. So, when you learned of him, you had the, 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 you never have no butterflies leave. All the butterflies are now gone. Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Uh, All right, good. So yes. he picked her up from the airport and he brought us to where we were staying, you know. Okay, yes. And I said to Brother French, how about church tonight? Yes. And he said, sure, you want oh, to Oh, that was what, Sunday night? That was Sunday night. Okay, yes. Mm. And he said, sure, you want to go to church? I said, I must go to church tonight. Yes. Because God is so good. Amen. Amen. I must go to church to tonight. To celebrate To God. celebrate the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. And he said, no problem. I'll pick you up at 6.30. And at 6.30, he was there. We went to Shortwood Church. Yes. Yes. And when I got to Shortwood Church. That's one of the churches connected with EJC Virtual Church. Yeah. It was a welcoming experience. Amen. Amen. I felt at home. Yes. I met family that I didn't know about. Yes. 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 And that's what I often say to people. When you are a Seventh-day Adventist. Yes. It is not an ordinary church you belong to. Amen. Hold a minute there because that is a powerful statement. Listen to me, friends. Some of you watching right now, you're, you're not, maybe some of you are backsliders. You wandered away. You know, we're telling you, you're missing out on a wonderful relationship with this God and a relationship with a massive, a large family all over the world. Let me tell you, I, I, can, I can testify just like Sister Francis, having gone to Trinidad, having gone to Tobago, don't know a soul over there. Trust me, it was, that's, that's, what, that's the joy of the fellowship that you share with Christ and in Christ. And I'm really happy. So you see, you see, friends of mine, the media might project some negative things about Jamaica, but I'm telling you as I sit here, you're hearing it from Sister Francis. I'm not the one promoting Jamaica. She is the one telling you that she has, she, she, she has it feels like home. Amen? Amen. 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 
as I was saying before, yes. when you are a Seventh-day Adventist church, yes. it's not an ordinary church. Yes. You belong to a family, a worldwide family. It's not a wayside church that you would find one here and you would find one yes. in the next corner. Yes, yes. And I, would, I must say, Brother French yes. gave me that true reflection yes. of what Seventh-day Adventist is. Amen, amen. Amen. He's now my family. Amen. <laughs> so you have family to you have family here in Jamaica. I have family here. Yes, yes. You know, yes. and as a seven day Adventist, and I would always boast about my church. Amen. We Amen. belong to a church that is loving, yes. that is caring, and you can you it can go on and on and on. Amen. I would have met Sister Nicole who tell me I'm picking you up the um the next night Sister to go Nicole. to church. Sister Nicole, Sister she was Nicole, also oh, an yes. and, and you know, Sister Nicole, those of you watching, especially our 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 longtime OGT family members, you remember that 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 program with the lady with the dialysis situation. Yes. Uh, uh that Sister Nichols. The, the, the book that she has written is captioned, I See, see God, God, if you remember that very well. If, if you've not watched it and you're a, one of our new members, you can go back online, uh, EJC Virtual Church, Oh Give Thanks, and you can watch the one with the kidney disease, Sister Nichols' kidney, di kidney disease. Go, go ahead. So you met her? I met her. Yes, yes. And they all assured me, Sister, you don't have to worry. Yes. Your daughter is in safe hands. Amen. 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 So some and more butterflies you know, leave. Some yeah, man. Most gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most gone. You know, if, if it can be this nice and we're not yet in heaven. You, 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 you get what I'm saying? Yes. If it can be this nice, the fellowship, you know, people who are true, oh, that you don't have to worry. Good. You know, when Jesus is in the life, by the way, by the way, I must tell you this, folks, you are watching online. We are not anything outside of Jesus. If it was for Jesus in our lives, we, 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 you couldn't identify us. Jesus makes a difference. Am I speaking the truth? It is. Jesus makes a difference. Because only Jesus in the life can make us Though we don't know each other, irrespective of where we're from, Jesus is what connects us and unites us around the world. When I travel to the United States, to the Caribbean Islands, to Europe, irrespective of where I go, I feel at home because when I sit among my members, my, my friends who are fellow uh, partakers of the divine nature, fellow partners in tribulation, fellow partners in the Seventh Adventist Church, I feel at home. I feel I share companionship with them. I'm really happy. I'm feeling excited about the experience. Yes. I feel like it's mine. And I, as I said before, <laughs> I feel at home. Yes. I feel at home. Yes. I'm very comfortable. Yes. You know, and I'll be leaving at the end of this week. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. I believe. But I'm very comfortable knowing that my daughter is in safe hands. As Amen. Long as she's, and I said to Sister Nicole, yes. I'm leaving her in your care. Yes. yes. And the others. Yes. I know in Sister Nicole. I know Sister Nicole. I'm leaving her in the care of the shots with seven day yes, Adventists. Yes. So you all yes. make sure that she's in church. Amen. 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 Because there's nothing but God Amen. while we are here. That's right. That's right. I, I need you to say that again. You know, look in that camera and you have to tell the people who are watching it's that, that same statement that they just made. Yeah. It is nothing but God. Yes. Why, why we are here today. Yes. And I believe that the same God yes. that would have brought us here in Jamaica is able to keep, is able to protect, yes. and is able to cover her for yes. the next three years here in Jamaica. Amen. I am, I am so excited. You know, you are planning, you know, but, but God has it worked out a long time. But what God loves, and, and, and this is one of the things I want to really highlight about your testimony so far. What God loves is the fact that in all our ways, the text says, we should what? Acknowledge, acknowledge him, him and he will do what? Direct, direct our, path. our path. You see, she didn't, she didn't know that she was going to meet up with, with, with the Shortwood Church family. She didn't know she would meet up with Sister Nichols and French, uh, Brother French, and all the other folks that she has met upon who have with open arm welcomed her and her, and her daughter because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. And that is why I'm saying, somebody watching online, you know, your life, your life can be a hundred times better 
You see, some of you, some of us are, we're putting off God for too long, man. And he wants to make your life better. Here is a first time. This is not me. This is not, I, I'm, I'm not the one saying it. This is Sister Francis who traveled all the way from the, the, the Eastern Caribbean. It's not, it's not a one-hour flight. And you heard, she said, it's five, five stops she made. Or four stops before she get to Jamaica, which is the fifth stop. And God was there every step of the way. Even with the Canada, her daughter is there and the connecting and the meeting up on time and the picking up. Oh, that's God. And somebody watching right now, you, 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 you're worried about the future. You don't know how things are going to pan out. Let me tell you something. Like Sister Francis, put it in God's hands. He has it already worked out. And that's what life is about. When God wants to give you peace, peace doesn't mean the absence of problem. Peace means that while you have issues, while you have challenges, God, you can rest assured in God, in Christ, because he has already worked it out. Forgive me, I am so excited I have to, I have to put this plug in because somebody needs to understand the gravity of Sister Francis's story. Sister Francis, that's why I'm, you know, I'm so glad you come and meet me because you see me online. But I always look forward to be meeting you. <laughs> you see me online, but trust me, sister, when, when it, it comes to Jesus, I'm just not myself. You see, I, I know what, where he has taken me from, Sister Francis. And, and listening to you and, and hearing that is the same God who monitored everything and not have it and just release it more butterflies release it more. <laughs> you understand yes and that is just how that's the god we serve yes and pastor i'm telling you yes remember i told you before yes. that i told god because this place is above my budget yes i am booking it for three oh yes nights. The, the, the one for the, the, the one that you the, the second place yes yes i'm booking it for three nights i mean yes. i meant three nights oh yes and you prayed about it too yes and tell god you give him an ultimate to tell him say so it's also three nights it's only three and nights he, and he has to find somewhere else so the tuesday morning i got up and i said god today's tuesday i have to book out this place at 11 o'clock. That's what you, that's, you talk about? Yes. You actually tell him? I actually tell God that. Wow. God, remember, I have to leave here at 11. I've already spent my three nights. So God, you have to find somewhere more affordable for me. Yes. So I went online and I start looking. I call up some members. Yes. Sister Nichols and the others, you know, trying to get mm -hmm. yes. everybody now start trying to find places for me. So every place I get, I would message Brother French. Brother mm -hmm. French, you tell me, is this place safe? Yes. It's you know, just area. is it's it a good, a good area? Mm -hmm. You know, and there was another friend who, a member from my church, <coughs> mm -hmm. David, who I also sent it to, you know, as because I'm sorting place, but I just don't want to go any place yes, yes i want to go somewhere that is also safe yes you know so i say god you got to lead me and direct me. yes so i book up on this place and when i start chatting with the assistant she said that is affordable that yes. is to my budget yes it fits but she your said budget. you know what um i would not be available i would not have available space until friday yes Mr. Mr. God, away I do. This means that <laughs> I would have to pay spend some more, more nights, maybe more. another night or so. Yes. Yes. No, that was Tuesday, so Wednesday, oh, yes, Thursday. Oh, yes. Wednesday, so Thursday. Yes. Three, like three more Almost, nights. Almost. Yes. 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 I say, God, I am paying for another three nights in this place. You have to find me some way, God. Yes. Not another three nights. So I. The lady asked me, so do you want to book? I said, no. Do you have anybody else that you can suggest around your area? Because I was already told that that the area is, is safe. safe. Yes, yes, yes. She said, yes, I can send your number for another lady. Yes. Oh, mighty God. God is so good. Yes. And that's why I will continue. My theme today is nothing but God. You have to capture that one. Nothing she, she, she but God. She has a God. theme. Nothing but, but God. God. Amen. 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 So I messaged the lady and then she replied, yes. I said, do you have, would you, your room available between this time and this time? She said, 
you're leaving on the 17th? I said, yes. Mm. That's when I have it booked for. I say, thank God. Yes. I say, thank God. Yes, right on time. Fitting to your timing. Fitting to my timing. Budget and timing. Budget and timing. Amen. But part of that ain't all. Yes. I say, God. So, that lady, that first lady. Yes. She, she said, what she gave me was fitted to my budget. Yes. And I already praise God. I said, thank God. Yes. You know? Yes. But this second one said, well, if you are going to spend almost two weeks, yes. I'll give you $10 off. I said, thank you, God. $10 I said, less than the previous, previous lady, that, lady that gave you the number. Yes. What a mighty God we serve. I said, God, <laughs> you are great. Amen. God, you and are by good. The way, make the listeners under, and the viewers understand when we say ten dollars, it's not ten Jamaican dollars. No, please. ten US. I'm I'm speaking US here. Yes, yes. So it's yes. ten I, I US. Have to make sure that, that is clear. Less than the price that the lady was giving me that was fitted to me. And that's ten dollars less per night. Yes. Per night. Oh, so it's not ten dollars off this No, off Pastor. Enough. It's ten dollars per night. Less. So for two weeks. Yes, mm. per night. I said, watch a God. So that's about $140. Yes, nothing but God, Pastor. Yes. And if you think that is good, yes, God even make it even better. Yes. Even better, Pastor. And that's why I start with, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Who hold it right there? I, I, you know, listen now. We, we I want you right now. You know what this segment? What's gonna happen after this? Right after this segment, we're gonna go straight into our prayer garden. Look here. You can't be hearing these stories. I would have something to tell God. And some of you are burdened. Some of you have challenges. I want to start pouring those into the chat right now because we're gonna we're gonna get into our prayer garden in a little bit and um, i prayed earlier sister francis prayed uh read the scripture reading but i'm gonna ask sister francis to petition the throne of grace because some some of you are challenged on every front. Since COVID, some of you have been displaced from your job. Since since COVID, some of you have lost a spouse, lost children, lost a loved one. Some of you have, have grown hopeless. I when I, recently I traveled and I see so, I saw so many hopeless situations. People who appear to be hopeless and are walking around hopelessly, and we are on the heels of Jesus is coming. Not only that, but we have a God who is saying, "Try me." And people are not even aware that they could try God. You know what? We want to pray for you. Because some of us, all we need, you know, is just a new look at our old problem. And God can give us a new look. And when God gives us a look at it, we say that the size of it is not is nothing compared to the size of our God. So start pouring into the chat right now your request. I know that some of you have begun pouring it from the beginning of the program. Not a problem, but we are asking you to pour it in the chat. We're gonna take a little bit piece, a little piece more of Sister Francis's testimony, and because the juicy part, this is the part where she says that's not all. I'm not giving you that now. I want her to hold back that little part. And when we have finished praying and we're in the final segment, we're going to have a release and give you the rest of the goodness of God. So prepare the, the, the requests in the chat. Sister Francis, you are right at that breaking point there where the lady give you $10 off per night. Look here, no man. I feel like it's me. I am so happy and excited. about. You never expect your trip to be so... So, so easy and... No, no I never expected because my trip Because you started to out by so fretting about the trip. I started out by being fearful. Yes. I started out. But you know what? I must always remember that, you know, God have not given us a spirit of fear. That's right. That's right. I heard somebody saying that online a long time. But of some That's mind. Right. Yes. You yes. know, and when I look back, I smile. I say, why was I being... Why... Am I being that fearful at that point? Yes. When I know God, and I know God have wonderful people yes. out there. But God has wonderful plans for you. And God has. Oh. Yes, wonderful plans for you. 
So even if we can't find any people, God is a majority when we have him on our side. Amen. 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 Look here, at this time, at this time, I have to have her take a break right there. We're going to get into the prayer. We're going to pray for the requests in the prayer garden. And the same Sister Frances who has been sharing her story. You know what? I am so happy because on the heels of her leaving, just before, she's leaving this week. But God is so good because somebody needs this story. Somebody needs this story, you know, about the goodness of God. And even if, you know, some of us think that it has to be a car accident, near accident or something. Let me tell you, every aspect of your life, God is interested in it. And so we're going to have Sister Francis, uh, you know, praying for us, calling upon this God who saw her through, who provided, who worked it out, who, look here, long before you have your problems, God has already prepared the solution. And all your requests you're going to pour into the chat now and that you are pouring in, God has already prepared the solution. What we're doing, we're praying that you will place your hand on it at the right time. So, you're going to be hearing some of your requests being read as you, you, you step into the garden. But if you don't hear your request being read tonight, the one thing I ask you, make sure that you are in the garden with us as we pray together. Will you join us now as Sister Francis pray? Petition the throne of grace on all of our behalf.
O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Father, tonight we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, because there is none like you, God. Heavenly Father, tonight we bring all the prayer requests that is laid before you. Heavenly Father, we pray for healing for those who are sick, God. Heavenly Father, we pray for job for those who are jobless, God. Heavenly Father, we pray for guidance. We pray for protection, God. Heavenly Father, we call upon you at this moment, God, because there is none like you, God. Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh God, that you would create within us a clean heart and renew that right spirit within us, God. Father, forgive us of all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, God. Heavenly Father, we pray for those, O oh God, who would have forget you as their first love, O oh God. Help them to remember, O oh God, that you still love and you still care for them, God. Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh God, that you would provide food, clothing, and shelter for those who are in need at this moment. Yes. Heavenly Father, we pray, O oh God, for your guidance and your protection for those who need it at this moment, God. Heavenly Father, even our children, as they go to school from day to day, we ask, O oh God, that you would just cover them under your precious yes. blood. Heavenly Father, help us, O oh God, that we would let our light so shine before men, that they may see you in us, and they would come to call you blessed God. Father, there is someone right now who just need that touch from you, God. Yes. Heavenly Father, I ask at this moment that you would just come by near God and just touch them. Let them feel you. Let them know that you are near, oh God. Father, those who are aching, Father, I ask, oh God, that you will smooth their pain, oh God. Mm. Heavenly Father, those who are sick, Heavenly Father, we come before you at this moment for them, knowing that you are still the, God, the balm in Gilead. Heavenly Father, you have done it in the past, and we know, God, that you can just pass by and touch them, oh God. Help them, oh God, to have that faith and that trusting you, like the woman, oh God, that would have just Touch the hem of your garment and made whole. Heavenly Father, I ask tonight that you just make somebody whole tonight, oh God. Father, they need that touch. Touch them, God. Heavenly Father, I ask, oh God, for those who are just mourning the loss of a loved one. Father, you know it is not easy, God. But Heavenly Father, you promised that you is our refuge and our strength. You are a pleasant help in trouble. Help us, O oh God, to hold to your promise. Help us, O oh God, to hold to your unchanging hand, knowing that you are still God. You are the God in the good times, yes. and you are the God in the bad times, O oh God. Heavenly Father, help us, O oh God, that we would just cast all our cares upon you, knowing that you care it for us, O oh God. Father, continue to be our sustainer. Yes. Continue to be our guide. Continue to be our protector, God. Heavenly Father, we claim everything tonight in no other name but in your holy and precious name. We, we say thanks, 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 God, for what you would do, what you would continue to do in each and of us each of us life. We ask these in no other name, but in your holy precious name. Amen. Thank you so much for staying with us up on this time. We appreciate the songs that the song that we've had and also the powerful prayer from Sister Francis. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But I can't live without prayer. I, I can't live without prayer. I have to be in touch with God. You see, prayer is therapeutic. It unburdens the soul. It lifts you from the burdens that 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 plagues you, you know. And and when somebody else does it on your behalf, it's even more powerful. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avail it much. It never said your prayer. It says of somebody else's prayer. Who is righteous? It avail it much it's it's a wonderful thing to 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 be a child of god and, and you know i i can't help 
I'm, a, I'm an evangelist by nature. You know that. I have been, I tell you all the time that I, I love to see individuals give their hearts to Jesus. The, the, the purpose of this worship service is not only to celebrate God, but to, to, to invite you to, 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 to form a relationship with him. You've heard other people's stories about how they, oh God has been good to them. But we want but, but, but the only way you can testify is if you are in a relationship with the same God. So we can only tell you our story. But, but God wants to give you a story. And if you are such person, we are going to place a link right there in the chat. Feel free to fill out that link, you know, that, that request link so that we can, you, you, we can help you. We can contact you and help you in making a decision for Jesus. It's, I am glad I'm a Seventh Adventist Christian because I don't go to Paradise Seventh Adventist Church, but I feel like I'm a member. Why? Because I'm sitting beside my sister, Sister Francis. Sister Francis, welcome again. Uh, thank you. For thank asking. God for you. I, I love the story. I, I, I love what God has done and is doing in your life. No, that peace, you see, we're in the final segment. The peace that you tell us that, you know, and, and, and if we think that's it, God has more. Tell us the more. <laughs> yes, Pastor. So as I told you before, I asked God to let me pay half of what I was paying before. Half? Yes. Mm -hmm. You actually tell him the figure, half. Half. Yes. That is affordable. That was sustained. Yes, because that is in your budget. Yes. The chip wasn't a plan chip. It's just a yes. pick up and yes. go, yes. you know? And... So I got one for that, which I told you. So that's half. I just want the clarity because, you know, the folks are watching yes. and I want them to. So that's half of what you were paying for the first, first the very first very one. Very first one. Good, good. Which right. you considered very high. Which was very high. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. And so he provided that, but that wasn't available until the Friday. Right, right. So, we, so, we, so we're not on the half one now. So no. So we're on the one now that the person The lady has. told me. Yes. Because I'm staying almost two weeks. Right. A, li a mm. little over two weeks. Yes. She would then discount for $10 per night. Less per night. Yes. Yes. And I agree. I was very happy. Yes. And comfortable Boy, with agree. that. I would agree quickly. But God. <laughs> yes. But God has more. God has more. God has more. Tell us more. See, see, when you are down to nothing, yes. God is always up to something. Pastor. No, no, you have to repeat that. Things like that we can't let just pass. But <laughs> you, you heard that? You heard that? When you are down to nothing, God, God is up. I wonder how God is always up to something I, better. I, I, I'm one, are you down to nothing right now? That's my question to you. Are you down to nothing right now? Well, God is up to something, and not just something, but you say something better. better. Talk to us. Better sister. than I what you hear ask. It. I want to hear it. Yes. So when we so we agreed with the price. So I told her, okay, I am coming. Mm -hmm. I will be coming. So no, I, I told her, okay, but she said normally you would book in in the evening yes mm -hmm. but i told her i have to leave this place at 11. yes she said well come oh good yes so she said but you want to come before because i want to go out so if you want to come before just let me know right i would have she you would come before you i would wait on you right I go. right right yes so i call my taxi guy i said could you come and get me to carry me to, to that this, address. To yes. this address. Yes. He said, you find a place, man. Me say, I didn't find somewhere, no. God find it. Amen. I like all so your friends. When that one. I told <laughs> when I told him where I'm going, he said to me, This is an expensive era. Yes. This is oh, an that's... expensive era. Yes. So I sure you sure you're not going to pay more than what you pay. In other words, let's slow down here. Is it in other words, where God found for you? Is a more expensive area than your first place that you were at that you were paying a lot of money. Exactly. And at this place, let me hear it. So he said, You sure? I said, I sure. You sure is that price she told you? So I said to him, Well, I don't talk Jamaican. Yes. <laughs> so when you get there, yes. you talk Jamaican. Yes. 
and you would make sure that is the price. Yes, yes. But when I got there, she wasn't Jamaican. She oh, was American. She's an American lady. She is an American. Yes. So her accent was American English. Yes, yes, yes. So, so when she told him, he said, wow. He said, take it. So he himself marveled. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he said, wow. So, but however, pastor, God ain't done yet. The price ain't done yet, pastor. No, hold on there. <laughs> Don't, it couldn't get any worse than what you just told me. That was better. The, I would say yes, yes. to me, yeah, yeah, it, the it, price it, is better. Yeah. All right, so, so she you said get to $10 me, off per night. Yes, but she said to me. Yes. Since you call, uh, over the weekend, I've been calling my gardener to come and cut the lawn. Yes. Because where I have to walk, you know, the lawn a little. Hi. I said, that, ain't, that isn't any problem. He, he said, no, I won't let you walk there. Yes. Because he didn't come and cut the grass. Yes. I would allow you to walk through my garage because there's a yes. uh, the garage is an open space, but yeah, there's yes. a door there to where I am going to stay. She said, I would let you walk through my garage. So I would take off another $5 per night. Hold a minute. Another $5? So it's $15 <laughs> per, night per night. Per night. 15 US dollars per night off. Wow. What a God. I said, God, you for real? <laughs> so I was there convinced the lady. I said, no, it's okay. Because I know the price already comfortable yes, enough. Yes, yes. So when I asked God for half, God half that half. Amen. <laughs> you see, you, you, you have to be specific. Because if you say half, he half the half. <laughs> <laughs> so it's half of half. Yes. I don't, I don't, look here, I, don't, I can't explain God for you. I can't. But what I can tell you is awesome. And if you just give your life and put your life in his hands and your business in his hands, you will marvel. So you wanted half. God said, look here, your, your chest is too, your, your ambition is too low. Yes. So God said, look here, let me tell you what I can do. Half of the half. <laughs> and that's why I will oh. always say I would bless the Lord at, at all, all times. times. All, not just sometimes. Not all times. All times. Yes. I would bless yes. the Lord, Pastor. Yes. I probably need to start using that text as a theme text for this program. You know? I will bless the Lord at, at all, all times. times. His praise shall, shall continually, continually be. be in my mouth. Amen. Only God. Yes. Only God can do that, Pastor. Wow. Because I, I told you, Pastor, I dare, I should have been happy, but I bet I tell her no. And she said, No, I'm not going to. I'm going to. Wow. And uh, Pastor, where we where we are now, yes. it has a lot more amenities than where we were before. Yes. She has everything there. Everything, Pastor. Yes. Perfect thing for you. Perfect. And thing. more. Pastor, I'll never cook where I was before, but I'm cooking now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, what a God we serve. A great, great, mighty God. Amen, amen, amen. And I'm so thankful to God. Yes. And, and that is why, you know, God, you, you know, probably you'd be in trouble with God if you didn't come and oh, give thanks to share this. Because this is something, if you go into Paradise Church and share this, this wouldn't be gone all, all over the world. But, but on EJC Virtual Church, this is where it has to be said. Because the paradise getting it, and even where there is no paradise, they're getting it. So, so we want the entire world to know that the God that we serve is an awesome God. And, a mighty God. And a mighty God who is able to do far more than you could ever ask, think, or even imagine. Praise the Lord, Sister Francis. All the way from St. Vincent. She's right here in Jamaica, right here in, in, in studio with me uh, from the Paradise Seventh-day Adventist Church. And let me just give a shout out to all of you in Paradise. I know you're watching right now. We thank God for you. And we ask that you'll continue to, to make where you are a sample of paradise, uh, of the greater paradise to come. 
uh, Sister, Sister Francis, it's an honor to have you. Uh, any Thank last you. words that you want to say uh, to, to somebody who is struggling, who is apprehensive about life, who don't, you know, we, 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 since we don't know tomorrow, we don't know what lies on the morrow, what advice do you have? Having gone through this experience, what advice do you have for somebody who, who needs to make a step, needs to make a move, make a decision, but is fearful like you were fearful in the beginning? I would sum it up in the words of this song. Yeah. Many things about tomorrow yes. we don't seem to understand. Yes. But as long as you know who holds tomorrow, yes. that same person is able to hold you today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes, yes. What a powerful, powerful way to, 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 to bring this segment, this worship service to a close. I look here. You know, I, I don't know what it is like to be on the other side of the set watching, but trust me, the experience in the online the experience live is for me more euphoric and and, and 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 if you can feel the way you you're feeling right there now watching you know you can imagine if you were involved in sister francis's story i don't know you know sister francis sister francis has provided another reason why i need to hold on to jesus you know and friends of mine Having heard Sister Francis's testimony, I have an appeal. I, I'm, I'm a pastor. I, I cannot not appeal on behalf of God. You have been trying so many things, and so many things have failed you. I want to challenge you tonight to try Jesus. Try Jesus. He never fails. And let's listen to the song again, the line again. Many things about, about tomorrow. tomorrow. I you what? don't seem to understand. I may not. I, I, I don't seem to understand. But as long as you what? You know who you holds know tomorrow. Who holds tomorrow. He will hold your hand. He will hold your hand. That's what God did for Sister Francis. He held her hand when she, although she was apprehensive about because because of the the, 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 the the media and the image the media has painted of our beautiful country. And it's that that's not to say that the media is not correct about the things that are happening, but the, the graphic way they have painted it is as if it's pure devils and demons are here. But but she has she has a family that God has already. Look here. I have to share it. Listen to me. Do you remember when Elijah, he was by the brook Cherith, God provided it for him during the, the drought, and what happened? The brook dried up. Yeah. You remember that story? Yes, yeah. you remembered it. The brook dried up. And then God said to him, go to Zarephath, for I have prepared a widow there for you. Now let me ask you a question. For those of you who know the story. When you look at the story. Was the widow aware that Elijah was coming? No. Did she have things ready for him? No. But the text says. God has prepared. I have prepared a widow for you there. And she will take care of you. Poor widow was not even aware of this situation. But the truth is, it's not just the widow. It's not the widow who has prepared for him. It is God who has prepared for him. And God, let, let me tell you something about the Bible. There's a tense in the Bible that, 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 that I have discovered. That is not really in English. But it's used primarily by God. God can say, speak of an event as happening, although it has not yet happened. He speaks of it as happening, Although it has not yet happened. Why? Because he can make it happen. And because he's the one who controls all events. So when God says to Elijah that I have prepared a widow already. 
the widow is oblivious to the whole drama. She's, she doesn't know a thing. But because God is going to make it happen, God can speak of it as though it has happened already. And I'm saying to somebody watching tonight, that's the God somewhere we're running from. That's the God somewhere we some are we staying away from. That's the God that some of us don't trust. A God who is able to speak your future in your present. Amen. Amen. I wonder if you got that. Yes. A God who can speak of your future in your present. And that is replete in scripture. And that is why I'm a Christian today. Because when you know of a God like that, you can put your future in his hand. Knowing that you can start living it from Oh, come on. You can Amen. start living it from today. And so I am challenging somebody online right now. I am challenging you on all give thanks to start make your life a life of thanksgiving Amen. to God. Yes? I don't know if you have any last thing against Sister Francis. Well, I would just like to shout out yes. my yes. auntie Jean sure. Glasgow yes. Ghoul, yes. who have been with me in the journey in Jamaica. Yes. Auntie Jean, I know you're watching online. My praise God will continue to bless you and keep you and enlarge your territory. Amen, amen, amen. So, so, so let me tell you something. Just as our God prepared some people here for Sister Francis before Sister Francis knew about it, God can prepare, he can open doors, he can, he can do a lot of things in advance of your problem before you even have a problem. And so I, I'm going to pray a special prayer for you tonight. You know, I am blessed tonight. And if you have been blessed, I'm going to ask you to type in the chat, I have been blessed. I am really delighted that we are back with you to share with you. We have a, 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 a great lineup of stories and testimonies to share with you of the goodness of God in people's lives just to provoke you to just stay close to this God for those of you who have been walking this pathway and for those of you who have never started the journey to inspire you to start this journey. Will you join me now as I pray this special prayer on your behalf? Father in heaven, I celebrate who you are. I, I praise your name. I thank you for who you are. You are a personal God. You're a God who is intimate in the affairs of your children. You're a God who will, who will be present. You describe yourself as a present help in times of difficulty. Lord, I celebrate you. I thank you. I thank you for Sister Francis. I thank you for her story. I thank you for what you've done in her life, in her daughter's life. And oh God, I pray that you'll grant her good success, grant her a, a wonderful and safe flight back to her country. And I pray, oh God, that you will take away every trace of anxiety and fear because her daughter is in your hands. And I pray success over her life. Whatever course of study she will be pursuing at the university, I pray, oh God, that you will give her good success. Provide the means, provide the financial resources for her. Thank you for the scholarship, Lord. And I pray for more scholarships that you have packaged for her with her name on it. I pray for the many students who are apprehensive, don't know what room they're going to stay in, don't know how they're going to survive. It's back to school period and some parents are still apprehensive uh, about tomorrow. But as the song says, many things about tomorrow we may not seem to understand. But as long as we know who holds tomorrow, we know that he can hold our hand on that journey. Thank you, Lord, for this worship service. Thank you for EJC Virtual Church. And as we, and as we go, Lord, I pray that you will go with us. I pray tonight, and I'm claiming this, Lord, that somebody who watched online will be inspired not only to continue, but for those who have not yet started the journey, will be inspired to accept you tonight. We are prepared. Use this platform, O oh God, to be a portal through which many more souls will come to accept you and be ready for your coming. It's towards that end, I pray. pray a prayer blessing, Lord, over all the staff and the, and, and the technical team and all the production staff and the managers, everybody on EJC Virtual Church. And I pray that it will be a blessing and, and it will be a source of inspiration and a source of motivation and provocation 
for those who need to find Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us on O oh Give Thanks. I am excited, and I know that you are too. May the Lord bless you and keep you. As you face the rest of the week, it is my prayer that God will stand by you. And please, I want to hear, you know, of somebody who, who desire. If you desire to accept the Lord, you want to give him a chance in your life. You want to accept him in your life. You want to, you want to, cont you're contemplating, you know, surrendering your life tonight. I would love for you to type that in the chat, that, that you need help. For, for, for Bible study or something. You, you, you want a pastor to contact you. Or perhaps you want me to contact you. So that you know, we can begin a journey with you getting to know Jesus and get closer to him. Type that in the chat. Or, 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 or we send out a link and you can reach out to the EJC Virtual Church. And we will make contact with you uh, uh, so that we can you know, help you with this wonderful journey of walking with Jesus. God bless you and enjoy the rest of the week in the Lord. Thank you so much, Sister Francis, and may God continue to bless you. Thanks for coming on OGT. And thank you very much. It was a pleasure being here. Amen. Thank you, Brother French. Oh, yes. Push me to be here. Okay. All right. Blessings. Have a good weekend, and see you next week. Same place, same time, right here on O Give Thanks at 6.30 next Wednesday. God bless. Hallelujah. This one is for those who are not feeling so well. See, so you turn to the doctor and the doctor can't help you. But I know who, I know a man who can help you. His name is King Jesus. So you enter into this building. You brought your burdens, brought your pain. See, I have a message for you today. Uh, that when you leave here, it won't be the same. My God, my God, my God. <laughs> Mercy. So you tell me. You've been to your physician mm. Look at your health and no change In your condition ah. Just reach out and touch The master's robe There's healing for your mind oh your body and of your soul oh yes there is hallelujah somebody say God can heal God can heal he can deliver and he can mend the broken mend the broken he say. can mend your broken he gave you a miracles he has a miracle to fit your needs. Won't you trust him? Oh, you will receive. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, thank you, Lord. I want to talk to somebody. See, God knows. About your situation mm. With every test and every trial There is a revelation That God is able To supply every one of your needs He is here to touch you and heal you Receive Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Say God can heal, God can heal, Hallelujah. And He has delivered. He has been the broken, been the broken. Oh, oh, oh. He gave you a miracle. Hallelujah. 
this building Is that you have your healing? See, once God works a miracle to fit your needs, go tell the world what you have received. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is here. God is here. Oh yeah. And He has been the broken. He has been the broken. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has been my brokenness. Gave me a miracle. Just a fit. I want somebody to just lift your voice and say. Thank you for giving me a healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I have received it. I have received it. Oh, thank you, Lord. I receive your healing, Lord. I receive your healing, Jesus. For everything that you've done for me, for taking me through COVID-19. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, somebody said, I've received it, I have received it. Come on and receive it. No matter what you're going through, receive it, receive it, receive it. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for me, Lord. Say, I've received it, I've received it. I've received.